Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. You are listening to The Brilliance Business Show. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. Conversations with leading experts in business. And today I have a really special guest, Andrea Albright from Beverly Hills Publishing. Andrea is a CEO, publisher and visionary entrepreneur. Our topic today is five star published books for thought leaders in 90 days. Andrea, welcome to the Brilliance Business Show. Thank you very much. I am so happy to be here. We're super looking forward to a conversation with you, Andrea. Before I get started, I just need to make a legal disclaimer that you're not offering legal advice or legal assistance. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yes, I'm here offering knowledge, wisdom, and business skills, business success, what I've discovered over 15 years of entrepreneurship. We can't wait to hear all of your knowledge, Andrea. Let's get started with the show. Can you share with our listeners a little bit about yourself and your business and creating five-star published books for thought leaders in 90 days. Yes, I started Beverly Hills Publishing because I see that authors are not being served. A lot of people spend years writing their books, and then when the books are released, then Most people don't know how to do the marketing of the books to get them into their audience to make an impact with the world. I am an author. I started writing books back in 2006, and I'm also a digital marketing expert. So I know how to reach an audience through online marketing. And because of that, my books and my messages have been received by millions of people around the world. And I realized that other thought leaders, these are the people who are evolving their industry, changing the conversation. They need support in publishing and marketing their books. So I created Beverly Hills Publishing, and everything that would take years, we've now condensed it down to 90 days. That's amazing, Andrea. And it is a hard process when you are alone trying to do a book. uh, Procrastination is a big, big thing holding people back. And the fact that you help people in 90 days get their book out to their audience, that's absolutely an amazing thing. Who are your thought leaders? Who are your clients? Yes, thank you. The clients who we've had the pleasure of publishing are experts in business, people who run multi-million dollar companies, also people who are personal development experts. They have figured out a piece of the puzzle of how to improve your life, build your self-esteem, gain more confidence. We also work with CEOs who have built incredible companies and they are now ready to share their knowledge and their expertise about entrepreneurship. So we publish thought leaders in all different industries. And really my passion is for helping thought leaders to publish their books so that they can make an impact in the world. I believe that thought leaders are 
the visionaries who are going to solve the world's problems. And the more I can support the thought leaders and sharing their message, the better the world is going to be. And what I love about that, Andrea, you are helping the thought leaders. But not only that, those books are then serving and helping so, so many people. So you're helping the thought leaders, but then the books go out and help so, so many people to move forwards. That's really, really inspiring. Yes, I call it the ripple effect, where one ripple creates another ripple. And if you've ever thrown a pebble into a pond, you can see how that one impact can create an entire ripple across the body of water. And that's how I think of books. Books have been instrumental in my life. I am a self-taught self-made entrepreneur, and books have been my education. They've been access to mentors. And because I'm so passionate about knowledge and books, I became a publisher because I want to help the knowledge and the genius of our thought leaders be that pebble that gets thrown into the water and it has that lasting ripple effect throughout humanity. You have put that beautifully. Do you recall a specific ha-ha moment that led to the launch of your business, Beverly Hills Publishing? Yes. When I discovered how to write and publish my own books, I actually published over 25 books for myself and for my brand. And I was having tremendous success where I would look around when I would go to seminars or conferences and I'd be surrounded by brilliant, passionate leaders and entrepreneurs who would write a book and then the book wouldn't have an impact. And that just broke my heart because I know that their book is meaningful and worthwhile. It's just that they don't know how to publish or how to market their book. And I realized, gosh, you know, I've done this for myself. I'm an author. I'm a thought leader. And I see how the publishing industry is traditionally not supporting authors. I realize that if I don't do this, then I don't know if these authors will ever be able to get their message out and make the impact with the world. I heard the statistic that over a million books are published every year and less than 1% of those books make an impact in their market. And that was the turning point for me where I realized that's not a statistic that I can just sit back and let that happen, that these books deserve a chance and that most importantly, the audience whose lives are forever changed because of these books, they need the opportunity to receive these messages. So that was really the turning point for me was when I heard the statistics of the horrible rate of publishing success for most of the books that are published. And Andrea, 25 books, that's quite an achievement. <laughs> I brought out a book a couple of years ago and I still want to do another one, but I've been putting it off, putting it off. And to say you have published 25 books for yourself, that's absolutely incredible. Thank you. Well, we all have our genius. We all have our unique skills, and I just happen to be a content producer. I'm a pro prolific writer, a speaker. I'm just constantly creating content and wanting to share my ideas. And every time I published a book, I would get publicity and all of this, this attention, and people wanted to hear my thoughts. And then when 
Women's Health and Fitness magazine put me on the cover of their 21st anniversary edition. They said, Andrea, you're a thought leader in women's health. And it's not because I have hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers. It's because my books were making a difference in people's lives. And still to this day, books are seen as the highest level of, thor of authority in our society. You can be a doctor, you can have a PhD, you can have letters behind your name, but the moment that you become a published author is the moment that we as a society see you as an authority on that topic. It is still the gold standard in our culture because books are special. When you are moving and you're packing up all of your boxes of stuff, you know, you get to your books and you're like, well, what do I do with all these books? You don't throw them away. You still hold on to them. So books are special in our culture. And when you become a published author, it gets you so much publicity and recognition and credibility, and your clients see you as the authority. So books became a business branding tool for me. And that's why I just kept publishing more books. And that's why I'm so passionate about helping others. Because exactly what you said, I hear it all the time. People who've written and published a book, they go, oh my gosh, it was so hard and it took me years and I'll never do it again. And that breaks my heart because I know there are more books than you, Mark. And if I can make the process easy for you, you know, by marketing and doing the ghost writing, I mean, many of my authors never write a single word because I interview them and we transcribe those interviews and we turn it into a book. Many of my authors don't even have to, you know, sit down and at a keyboard. And that's because they aren't writers. Well, you're not supposed to be a writer, you're a thought leader. And so that's why I'm revolutionizing publishing so that any thought leader who is ready to share their message, they can do it without the struggle and the overwhelm and the writer's block and all those obstacles that traditional publishing faces. And also, Andrea, it opens up opportunities. It's like a business card having a book. And for instance, if you're a speaker, you will get better speaking opportunities for having a book that is published. Yes, absolutely. If you are a speaker, you definitely want to have a book. It does get you more access to speaking because when you publish a book, that is a reason why people would want you to speak. It's a newsworthy event. To publish a book, it's an extraordinary accomplishment. And so people want to interview you. They want to hear about it. You're saying, I have something new to share. And I will say that really paying attention to the quality of your book. And it is important to work with a publisher. I see a lot of people who go to these weekend, get a book, you know, written in a week, weekend kind of events. And you can really tell the difference of the quality. And so when you're investing in your brand, if you've developed your content and expertise over 10, 15, 20 years, you want to make sure you are protecting the quality of your brand and working with a publisher who will help you to make sure that that book represents your brand and your message is absolutely important because you will see you'll get access to better speaking opportunities. You will attract a higher level of client and you will also be featured in top quality news and media organizations. So yes, it is the new business card. And in fact, I like to say the book is the new commercial because we don't watch commercials anymore. We fast forward. And yet when someone hands you a book, 
that is directly connected to where you're struggling in life or a solution that you are looking to solve, you're going to take that book and you're going to give it your 100% attention. And so as an author, it is the best branding tool and also commercial because you're able to connect with your audience develop a relationship with them where they know you, like you, trust you, and therefore want to buy the next book and come to your events and follow you forever. So this is how I was able to establish my brand in health and weight loss. And this is what I do for my clients today, because that book is your brand, it's your business card, and it's your commercial. And I love that quote. The book is the commercial. That's absolutely phenomenal, Andrea. What really motivates you to jump out of bed every morning? (laughs) What a great question. Well, I have been a visionary since I was a child. And by visionary, I mean that I the future. And that can be kind of weird or strange, but I actually see it as if you have a vision of the future, it's a responsibility. And I say it's both a blessing and a curse because, yes, you can see the possibilities of a brighter future, a better future for humanity. And that's an amazing gift because you have endless inspiration, regardless of what may be occurring in the current news or the current events, you're able to see beyond that and see where we are going as a culture, as a society, and as humanity. And it's very exciting. It's very stimulating. I wake up every morning so excited to be alive. And when I say it's a curse, it's also this drive because you're given this gift for a reason. It's not for you. It's to be shared. And so I became an entrepreneur 15 years ago, and it started with me wanting to help people get healthy and stop childhood obesity. And I've been able to impact millions of people's lives around the world. And that is the deepest feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment that I could ever imagine having more than money, more than fame, more than recognition, knowing that you're making a difference in the world is truly the greatest wealth. And then a year ago, when I started Beverly Hills Publishing, it was because I realized that as an entrepreneur, I'm not done yet. I'm not done serving humanity and that actually I will be able to serve more people by serving thought leaders because exactly as you said, every time I help a thought leader to publish their book and share their message with the world, I in a silent way am impacting those millions of people who are going to receive their message. And so I actually see it as a deeper connection, like a spider web connected all over the world of influence and raising the vibration of the planet. Now, they, that may sound kind of, oh, optimistic. I am optimistic. I'm an optimist. And I choose that every single day. We are so on the same page. I agree with (laughs) everything you've said, especially having a vision. It's so important to have a vision for the future, a positive vision, a greater future, and also connecting with your future self, checking in with your future self in the present moment so you know you're taking those steps every day to get to that future version of yourself that is so beautifully put Andrea what sets your business apart and what unique needs are you filling for your clients The biggest difference with Beverly Hills Publishing is, yes, we have ghostwriters and editors that take the burden off of the authors. That's 
the five-star hand-holding full-service experience you get with publishing your book with us. And there are other companies that may do that as well. The difference of what really separates us is that before we ever write a single word, we already have the marketing plan laid out. And by marketing plan, I mean we have already researched the target audience. We know their needs. We know their pain. And most of all, I look at where is that market in denial? So this is how I've been able to go into some of the most competitive markets in the world, such as weight loss, and I'm able to see where the market is in denial, meaning what are their truths that have been turned inside out. And whenever we publish a book to the market's denial, you are the first person who is giving them access to that awareness inside of them. It is the most powerful relationship you can build because now you've given that person an awareness of themselves, something that they were actively repressing because they were in denial. And so the power of the marketing and what I call the magic money hook, because it is a hook that captures your audience's attention and that they reach into their pocket, pull out their credit card and buy your book because no one who is not invested in their own transformation is going to have a transformation. So it is very important that we capture the audience with the marketing hook before we ever write a single word. And this is the exact opposite of the way that most publishers are publishing books is they write the book and then they try to do the marketing or if they even help the author with the marketing at all. Most people have to do their own marketing and unfortunately authors are just not, they're not experts at marketing. And so they're trying to market a book after it is published. And I will tell you that The noise in a marketplace is just too much. Every single market is bombarded with noise every day. 16,000 marketing messages on average per day because we are now on Twitter and social media and Instagram and billboards. It's just way too much noise. So you have to have a marketing message that penetrates into the soul of your market. That is the most important. And that's why we do it first. Why is your service especially important in today's modern world? It's so important because creating a book that starts a movement, the book is the most powerful tool you can have for your brand and for your business. And Having a book that makes the impact that your message deserves to make, it is more important than ever. And I see authors get so frustrated and they, it breaks my heart when I see them give up on their dreams of being a thought leader. They think that it was them. They think that it was their book but it's not. It's that they haven't been educated on how to market the book first and then do the publishing to capture the audience's attention. And so it's more important than ever because of the statistic that I shared with you at the beginning. Over a million books are published every year. And I think about the blood, the sweat, the tears that goes in to publishing those books only to have them being stored in their garage and only their friends and family go to buy them on Amazon. I mean, that just breaks my heart because these are the thought leaders who have the wisdom that society needs. Can you share more detail on the kinds of services and products you offer to your thought leaders? 
Yes. So in the 90-day publishing package, we start with getting super clear on your purpose. What is your purpose? What are you truly meant to share with the world? What is your soul here to express? I believe that until you are truly aligned with your purpose, then no amount of fancy marketing or business development is ever going to get you the impact or the success that you are looking for. And even if you do have some level of success, I've seen it happen all the time that it's not aligned with the purpose. And so therefore the entrepreneur either self-sabotages it or they get bored or they go into, you know, destructive mode. It just never works out for the long term. And because I've been doing this for 15 years, I know that we have to start there. We have to get super clear on what is your purpose. And then from there, we figure out who are you meant to serve, meaning who is your audience whom you want to attract. And this is actually the hardest part for the authors that I work with because they want to help everybody. And it comes from a wonderful place of giving and caring. But unfortunately, if you're saying, I can help everybody, that means that you can help nobody. And so we have to get very specific on who is your target market? Who do you want to serve? And once we know who you want to serve, we combine the per- your purpose with your market, and we analyze the the, where the market is looking for solutions. So a lot of people talk about where is the market in pain? I look for where are they in denial? And I have ways of seeing into the internet 2006. And so I can analyze what people are searching for when they go into their computers. I have a saying, I say, people will lie to themselves, they will lie to their friends and family, but no one ever lies to a search engine. And so therefore, that's where I start. That's (laughs) right. If you think about it, like if you really want to know somebody, go look at their search history. They never lie to the search engine. And so as a marketer, That's the only place I'm interested in because that's the only place that the human is actually telling the truth. They're not even aware that they're in denial. They're not even aware of their actions. And so this is where things get really interesting and really exciting because we can see where the market is searching and where they're not being served. And from there, we have what I call the magic money hook, and it's your purpose combined with your market and where the market is in denial. If you loop those three on top of each other, you have that sweet spot. That becomes the hook. That's the name of the book. That's the name of the website. And it's also what is going to capture your audience's attention and get them to buy your book. And from there, we start writing. We do the outline. We do the interviews. And we turn all of that amazing content into a published book in 90 days that you can share with the world and people will now see you as the authority in that topic. I would imagine you have all sorts of client success stories. Can you share one that really stands out in your mind? Absolutely. One of our clients came to work with us and he, like many authors, has wanted to write a book for years. And he actually had started to write a book and he had some half written chapters on his hard drive. And he is uh, an immigrant success story. So he came to the United States about 15 years ago with just a little bit of money. And today he runs three companies and multi-million dollar organizations with technology and robotics. He's an extraordinary individual. And he 
so many people have asked him about his success and what is he doing and how is it different? And he really came and said, you know, I want to help people to get their green card and to become a United States citizen. And because he saw that there are people who get discouraged. They don't understand how to really set themselves for success in the United States. And he wanted to help those people who wanted to make a life, make a living and become United States citizens in an honest, ethical way. And after analyzing the market, I saw that, you know, people aren't searching for green card. That isn't really a hot topic. But this topic called immigration, millions and millions of searches per month. Now, of course, if we look at what's happening on the cultural and political landscape, we see that immigration all over the world is a very hot topic. People are looking for leaders to understand how to navigate this complex time that we're living in. And so I said, this is what we want to go after. We want to position you as an authority on immigration in the United States. And so his book, New Immigration Secrets, has been released, and he is getting access to conversations that he never would have been open or people would have never have seen him as an expert. He's actually started his own mentoring practice and it's completely full of people who want to work with him one-on-one. -on -one. And he's now using that book as a employee screening tool because everybody who wants to work for him is now required to buy the book, read the book, and now that person, when they come to interview for his company, he now sees that this person is invested and plus they understand the CEO's philosophy and mindset about why he started the business he started and what are the values of the company. So just like Richard Branson, who writes books and the value of his companies goes up in stock and also cultural stock. And we want to buy because Richard Branson is a CEO celebrity. Now, this individual has also become a CEO celebrity and people are following him and he's become like the Tony Robbins for immigrants. I just love a client success story and that must be so satisfying for you to see someone else's success as a ripple effect of a book that you have helped with. It's what I do. It's why I do what I do. Every, everything is truly about that success story. And the reason why we publish in 90 days is because Markets are evolving faster than ever. And if you wait one or two years before you release your book, then the market has already evolved. It's already moved on. And so as a thought leader, you need to be ahead of the pulse of the market, what the market is searching for and what they're looking for that they are not even aware that they need. And then once your book is gives them that, solution. They're like, wow, you just showed me something about myself and I was just searching for it. And I didn't even know that this was a solution I could find. And whenever people are speaking about the book that they wrote five years ago or 10 years ago, in my definition, it's not, that's not a thought leader because a thought leader is always evolving, always moving the conversation forward. And so you need to be publishing your content at least once a year in order to truly be ahead of the curve. So by publishing in 90 days, you capture the market's attention and you stay ahead of the pulse while your audience continues to see you as a thought leader. How do clients typically hear about you and are there certain life moments that usually lead them to seeking you out? Hmm. Well, 
by the time my clients find me, they have typically been wanting to write a book for years. I heard a statistic that more people want to be an author than a rock star. (laughs) So it really is a big dream for a lot of people. And I think that it goes back to what we talked about in the beginning, that authors are the highest level of credibility in our society. When you become an author, people treat you with a higher level of respect, credibility. They want to hear your thoughts. And it's a big deal to say, hey, this is my book. You know, I published this book. And so when they find me, it's usually because they have had some kind of life changing event. Either they have bought, you know, sold their company or they maybe went through a divorce or they have just reached a point in their life when they realize I can't wait any longer. I have to share this message that is inside of me. It's like this burning desire that you have to release it. And many people hold on to it for years before they finally take action. Some of my clients have already written books And they realize that, oh, the process of of publishing a book with Beverly Hills Publishing, it's going to take all the stress off of me. And they know how powerful the book and the impact the book can make on their business and their brand because they've already done it. But they just don't want to have to go through all that arduous writing and getting overwhelmed and having to market the book on their own. So there's two kinds of clients that come to us. It's the one who has been sitting on that burning desire and finally something happens in their life where they're ready to share their message with the world. They just can't hold it in any longer. Or it's an established author who's already on their second or third book and is looking for a partnership that offers a solution because a lot of those authors are not served with the marketing of the book. Andrea, you have shared so much wisdom today and give so much great, great knowledge. I really look up to you. You're really inspiring. Is there anything we did not cover that you would like to share? Wow, I think this we've really covered a lot, of course. (laughs) I have a lot of knowledge and information over 15 years of being an entrepreneur and an author. And I really just want to give a message of hope. And any person who is called to step up in leadership, I'm here to support you. I believe the world is starving for leadership. And being a leader in today's society is hard. There's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of people looking at you and judging you. And if I can support that leader behind the scenes in any way, that gives me meaning. That gives me purpose. And whether or not we ever work together, I just hope that you take this message and realize that if you are called for leadership, that you have to answer that call. You have to do the personal development. You have to overcome your self-limiting beliefs because as I said earlier, leadership is not about you. It's about service to humanity. And when you're focused on all the reasons why you're not good enough or you're not smart enough or you don't have enough credibility or life experience or all the reasons that I hear for people not stepping up as leaders, I just want to shift that awareness away from you. It's not about you. You will never be enough. You will never be complete. I think about the first book I ever wrote, and I was terrified. I thought, oh, I'm going to sound so stupid. You know, what if it doesn't, I don't sound right. What if I look like an idiot? But the way that I got over it is I stopped thinking about me. And I said, if I can just help one person, then that is worth it. And I will tell you that that has been my mantra throughout my entrepreneurial career. Every time I get stuck in 
self-limiting beliefs or lack of self-worth or fear or judgment that would in any way paralyze me from taking action, I immediately stop and say, wow, I'm not focusing on the right thing. I need to think about them. I am here to serve. That's what leadership is. So if you can find that in your heart, then you will find that the world is starving for your leadership. What a great way to finish our show today, Andrea. Before we close up, could you just share with our listeners how people can connect with you, how people can follow you, how people can reach out about your products and services? Yes, if you go to beverlyhillspublishing.com, you will see information about how we serve you to write and publish your book in 90 days. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Mark, to share my message. Really been such a joy and a pleasure. I've really enjoyed a conversation with you today, Andrea. Thank you for being on the Brilliance Business Show. My pleasure. Thank you so much for what you do, Mark. You're a huge inspiration for me as well. And I just so appreciate what you are doing to help others get this, these incredible messages. Thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you, everyone, for listening to The Brilliance Business Show. Today, I have been talking to Andrea Albright of Beverly Hills Publishing, CEO, publisher and visionary entrepreneur. Our topic has been five-star published books for thought leaders in 90 days. You have been listening to The Brilliance Business Show I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler, conversations with leading experts in business. Until next time, goodbye. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.